Hi guys, hello, my name is Elif and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For today's video, I thought I would do another transformation since the last one was so successful. It's one of the videos that at least I'm getting some fun out of it and I really need to entertain myself at this point. So expect a lot of weird content in the next few weeks. That's what I'm trying to say. I need to find a way to keep myself busy and you're in luck because I decided to give up on my career of trying to be TikTok famous. So now I'm back on YouTube. For today's video, I thought I would do one of my favorite movies, which is uh, Talented Mr. Ripley. If you've not seen it, it's like a drama thriller. It's amazing. I highly suggest you do because it literally just keeps you on edge throughout the whole movie. And the fashion is amazing. I mean, I mostly watch it for the fashion, but it also has amazing storyline and a very, very hot cast. The movie takes place in Italy. Like it's very, very summery, very vintagey, quite toned down earthy tones, linens, kind of like a mixture of a Massimo Dutti and Mango catalog. But like few movies in Hollywood can be considered like as the perfect how to guide romance styling and I think that A Talented Mystery Ripley is one of them because it was released like 20 years ago and it's still very very relevant in terms of fashion so how iconic is that? I think very much. I haven't really given it too much thought of how I'm going to go about this. Um, I should have probably since I have so much time and you would think that at least uh, I'm gonna have a little bit more structure in my videos but nope. Still not, not happening. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to dress up as the different characters from the movie, the male ones only. I'm not going to be doing uh, Gwyneth Paltrow anytime soon. Sorry about that. You know what? Maybe if this video does well, I'll dress up like Gwyneth Paltrow in my next one. So make sure to like it and subscribe to my channel so you'll see me dressing up as a woman. No, I can't. I'm sorry, I'm not doing that. So I think I'm going to start by doing the character of Jude Lord first because he's probably the easiest person I can transform to. Not because I have his expensive wardrobe, he was actually a millionaire in the movie, but because I can really relate to the hairline that he has. Can you imagine me trying to do the Matt Damon's character? Look at his hair, that's like impossible. But yeah, it's good to have someone in Hollywood with the same hairline as me. I think we're very underrepresented and it's quite refreshing seeing the, somebody who not resembles me, definitely doesn't, but diversity and stuff. You get what I mean. Jude Law's characters was a lot of neutral colors, white linen, either in the form of trousers or polos and shirts. Also a lot of striped knitted shirts and white collar shirts, kind of like the Cuban shirts. Now I don't have any of these items. I mean, I have some, but like they're not the exact same thing. I wish though, because if you can find that striped knitted polo that he keeps wearing on that movie, let me know. But out of all of the outfits, I found one that I could potentially recreate. It seems like I have everything. But then I'm just gonna like make some other outfits as well with items that I think would be great in the movie. They really have the vibe and like style of the movie so probably you wouldn't even notice that they were in the movie so I don't know why I'm telling you this. But I'm going to add some uh, of my spins as well. We're not taking it literally here you guys, you should know that by now. So this is the photo that I'll be recreating which is kind of like a utility overset with many pockets. I don't have that many pockets, I just have two in mine. Do I even have two? Yes I do have two. Uh, so there is that and then just like a trousers in a stone color. The colors of it are quite different uh, So I'm not sure how well that's gonna go. That's why I'll be recreating my own versions as well I'm not sure also what he's wearing underneath. It doesn't really look from the photo if he's wearing anything uh, But I think I'll be wearing some things just to kind of break apart the difference in these two colors So I think I'm gonna go with like a white linen shirt or like a striped shirt uh, We'll see how that goes. After hair, I'm not sure what I want to do Throughout the whole movie, he's really uh, comfortable with the fact that he has a huge hairline, but I'm not really, and I never really put my hair up. But considering that's the only hairstyle that I can probably ever recreate, I think I'm gonna try it. Okay, so I think the shirt actually kind of puts everything together and it doesn't look as weird as just um, with like plain skin. I think it's a good like transition color, so it's kind of between like the jacket and the trousers. So for now, we're just gonna go with that. Oh my God, so warm. Okay, for the hair, it looks like he has a lot of sign on it, so not only do I have to sew my hugest forehead, I also need to sign my hair, which is literally my two worst nightmares. I went through my hair product, most of them were mud, but I found this uh, L'Oreal Professional <laughs> Beauty Guru. Never used it, so hopefully it's shiny. It smells good. And then, uh, just in case, I'm just gonna use so, like some spray if I wanna add more sign on it. Great. Last time I used a hair dryer, but I don't even think that's gonna matter anymore. Can't believe I'm doing this on camera. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get in. <sighs> this looks horrible. Okay, maybe with a bit of sign it will help. Why does he look like good with that? Why do I look like a fucking. Adding it up, literally just putting as much as I can on it. I don't know how to do this. Clearly, it also looks like he has a like 
string falling off his face and mm, not quite there yet. Okay, I think that's the farthest I will go with this haircut. I'm kind of not mad at it in person. I actually don't hate it. I'm not gonna be doing it again. But yeah, it's cool. Uh, anyways, now back to the outfit. Here are my shoes, kind of like similar colors, but I need to lace them up because I've actually never worn them. So that's great. I don't even think I'm gonna sew them because I'm not gonna do full outfit, but at least you know that they exist. <laughs> is more shiny than my hair at this point <laughs> okay that is all for the first outfit i think i'm going to do a second one because this is not really something that i would wear and i feel like i have a lot of pieces that would go very well with the movie make sure to call me up if you're planning on doing a sequel anytime soon <laughs> I think that was enough. Moving on into my second character, which will be Matt Damon. I found an outfit which seems like I could potentially have everything. It's just a brown pleated trousers and then a white shirt. Okay, just did my hair as much as I could. I think we still have the stubs by now that my hair cannot do much. This is enough, uh, but I literally just blow drying it down and it seems like to have worked all right. Like, I'm fine with it. Not really, no. You know what? The best that we can get for the timeline that we have, so. It's fine, let's move on with that. I have here the brown trousers that I told you, which pretty much like look identical to the ones that he has. I couldn't find a white uh, sort of shirt. I, I don't know where it is at the moment, but I found this one, which to be honest, looks a lot better than what he has. It kind of goes along with the brown theme and then got uh, these super, I guess, uh, just to wear along with the rest of the outfit. Oh, and also, glasses. Go LF, look at you. I kind of like this look. I think I kind of nailed this uh, character. First, I just thought I was gonna help the fashion in the sequel, but I could potentially play it, to be honest. Like, I look good, sorry. The glasses also are very, like, spot on. I think it's, like, the same shape and everything. You know what? I'm very happy with this one. Like, I think I like this even more than the first one. I used to do my hair like that, like, when I was 14, which is means just put them down and hope for the best. Which is kind of the... Um, same technique that I'm doing at 23 years old. What do you guys think? Which one do you like most? So I think what I'm gonna do now is maybe like put on a black belt as he has and like maybe a watch and just put on some finishes that is and then um, ready for the fashion show. <laughs> That is all for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please make sure to like it and subscribe to my channel it really does help me grow for more daily fashion make sure to follow me on my instagram which i'll have in the description below and let me know what else you would like to see from me in this weird time because we do need to have some fun we need to have a little bit of love and i'm here to provide that clearly look at me this is like yeah what else do you need <laughs> But if you have any suggestions, I would love to hear them. So definitely do drop a comment below or just message me on my Instagram and I'll be more than happy to hear your feedback. But till I see you again, stay safe and bye bye.